Russell, me and my smock. Uh, Russell, me and my speech. We're back. I hope you had a lovely uh, Christmas and Boxing Day. And I hope that uh, you're gearing up for a cracking new year. This, is, this is the dead period, isn't it? <laughs> oh, it really is, you, isn't it? You have it's got through all of your podcasts. And <laughs> who is here racing to your rescue? Yeah, running in. Uh, we're doing a run-in with some podcasts. Yeah, it's like when there's a really boring match, Christmas, and <laughs> two really exciting wrestlers, us, run in, <laughs> release a podcast, mm. and you then... Uh, uh, cheer. Yeah. You, are, you just cheer. Just cheer. Uh, yeah. Yay. And then we move on to um, Hulk's promo. Mm. Less crazy eyes, way more yeah. kind of professionalism from Hulk it this is, time around. It uh, is. It's longer, it's better thought it out. It makes sense. Yeah. Apart from the bit, my favourite bit of this promo is where he goes, You're not a believer in the demandments, mother. <laughs> <laughs> he means to say, brother. <laughs> but he says, the demandments, mother. <laughs> but I found out one thing, Macho Man. You're not a believer in the demandments, mother. Brother. So our next T-shirt idea should be, yeah. you're not to believe it, the demandments, mother. <laughs> it's like calling your teacher mom or dad, isn't it? There's something really funny about the WrestleMania 4 one where he is off his fucking box and you go, well, I'm going to make sure, obviously we're going in a different direction. I'm going to ease back on that. I'm going to take my foot off the gas. And you get there and you go, well, now I've lost the ability to do it. <laughs> I wish I wish I was still having fun. <laughs> wish I was still having fun. I wish I was still still party Hulk. Yeah. <laughs> but just like Donald Trump, Macho Man, I hope you're ready, brother, because Donald Trump has questions in his own mind. He sent a whole team of seismologists out here to check the foundation of the Trump Towers because when the mega powers explode off the launching pad, brother, as we erupt over the whole Atlantic City, he was worried about the foundation. He was worried that the thousands of people in the arenas might become unseated and swallowed by the earth. Donald Trump, don't worry about my Hulkamaniacs. They're survivors. They're ready. And then we get to the match. It's Dino Bravo. Um, With Frenchie Martin. Frenchie Martin. Versus... Frenchie Martin's back. Frenchie Martin's back. <laughs> Frenchie Martin's back. <laughs> and he's still doing nothing. Um, versus a rugged Ronnie Garvin. Yeah. Um, Ronnie Garvin sounds like a man who sells fish in a pub. Well, 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 Is Ronnie uh, Garvin in? <laughs> yeah, wrong oh, Garvin. Some place. He's, um, he came from the NWA in 87. He right. was he, having matches with Ric Flair. He'd won the NWA championship. Okay. Bit of a surprise. He was always a journeyman wrestler. Mm. But he never manages to replicate that success. They bring him into mm. WWE really to stop the NWA having him and he's put with Dino Bravo and Greg Valentine really boring guys he's not mm. a great exciting wrestler mm. this match is a boring but before it gets boring they bring in Superfly Jimmy Snooker. Yeah. This is a strange match because you're watching, within it, you've got a man who murdered someone, <laughs> a man who was murdered, and rugged Ronnie Garvin. <laughs> really? Yeah. Hang on, so, you know, Bravo was murdered. He was, yeah. He was He was killed in 1993. Right. Um, he was shot 17 times when he was sitting watching uh, hockey at his home in Quebec. Right. Um, at this time, he's left the WWF, mm. and it, within a year, he's dead. He was supposed to be involved with the illegal cigarette smuggling trade That's in Quebec. That's right, yes. They've got yeah. funny sort of border payments. Okay. So you can smuggle them in and he was believed to have been part of that part of the reason he was so successful at it according to um, Rick Martel who is also on this Wrestlemania was that he who was also from Quebec was that because he was a former WWF star he was quite famous and so people were excited to meet him right. and then buy illegal cigarettes off him ah. you know so he was running this thing <laughs> the problem is illegal cigarettes it's such an unsexy product isn't it I, I, it I is it was like bootleg and hooch or the, the funny drugs. thing is the funny thing is the cigarette tax I once looked at this about how much it is and <laughs> you go I pack. can understand why Dino was doing this. You right, know, okay. It's a, it's a huge amount of money to be made. <laughs> I should stress, if I ever go to America and Canada again, I'm not saying I'm going to be bootlegging cigarettes. He might be. I could do. And <laughs> Why didn't um, they have a character uh, or a tag team, the Martel Cartel? <laughs> <laughs> you, can have that. you are still. See, you, you are becoming an I excellent becoming. booker. <laughs> it's very exciting. So Dino Bravo, uh, basically, because he was using his fame and people were happier to deal with him than shadowy people they'd not yes, heard of, okay. uh, apparently he was encroaching on some, some territory that was run by the mafia. Wow. And that was the thing that led to his murder. I mean, you've got to go somewhere to be shot by someone, isn't it? Yeah, haven't you? Haven't you? Well, well I, I hope so. Easy. <laughs> the things I've done. Yeah. Um, I, mean, I hope it wasn't over this match. <laughs> Dino Bravo could do uh, with a forking up, I'd say. Uh -huh. He looks like a sausage that's just about to burst. <sighs> he does. It's like, if you were cooking sausages and there was a sausage at the point at the yeah. s the, the, at, had Dino Bravo's skin, yeah. it's so taut. Really like is. Like, it's going to pop at any moment. Give it, give it a forking. The, the, the weirdest thing 
thing is, he's there until about 92, mm. possibly early 93. Every year he gets bigger. He just swells like a boil. <laughs> it's horrible. It's so... He he's looks, actually painful to look at. It is. He looks like a sort of man rhino. <laughs> uh, makes me feel... <laughs> Ew. G- G- gorilla at one point says the crowd are in awe. They're not in awe, Gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> They're bored out of their fucking heads. They really are. And this the, is... The Garmin stomp uh, uh, at the end yeah. is the, probably the worst thing I've seen in wrestling. I, I could agree with that. He does a that. rubbish stamp and he stamps... He does like a 360 round the body. Yeah, so he chooses... Absolute dog shit. Yep, knee to ankle to... Again, the basic <laughs> thing about wrestling, and, and this is where you see the changes, is it's always got to look like people are trying to win a fight. <laughs> and some of the things they're using in this, if you were in a fight and you tried, someone would break your face. <laughs> so, it's always a shame when you see silly moves like that. Funnily, Randy Orton started using the Garvin Stomp for a little while. Yeah. Uh, but doing it with a bit more in, sort of intensity. And it didn't not work, but it wasn't very good. <laughs> well, Macho Man Randy Savage. There's a VT of Macho Man Randy Savage. In real life, a possessive, abusive husband. <laughs> There's a clip of him in his dressing room smashing the shit out of the dressing room and screaming. Yeah. That didn't look nice. No. That didn't look good. That didn't look no. great, did it? T- all through this, whenever you see Randy <laughs> Savage, you go, good God, he's really got this character nailed. He's so dedicated to it. He's really sort of frightening and wired and jittery. And then you begin going, maybe the times <laughs> when he's not like this is the act. Because <laughs> this is pretty convincing. <laughs> it's, uh, he, he is great. That's constant staring. He yeah. moves his head like a bird all the time. It's like flicking it. It's <laughs> oh, it f- slightly freaks me out. Oh, Cogan, you say you love Elizabeth? Oh, I got news for you, man. Here, I got news for you. Elizabeth is gonna be in the corner of the Macho Man Randy Savage at WrestleMania Five. Yeah, and let me tell you something. You say you love me like a brother. Well, listen to this, whole Cogan. I hate you. I hate your guts. And that's what's gonna be left all over the mat after WrestleMania 5. Hello, P for WrestleMe. Hi, it's Mark from WrestleMe here. And WrestleMe you. WrestleMe you. WrestleMe you. WrestleMe me. We're here to talk about uh, something that's going on on the Patreon. We are doing WrestleMemus. We do this every year. We give you 12 great shows in December. Because it's Christmas, isn't it? It's Christmas. What could be more Christmas? What could be more Christmas? We basically find the stupidest, silliest matches uh, in the history of wrestling. And we basically talk about them. I mean, what more could you... Patreon.com forward slash WrestleMe. Join us. Happy WrestleMemus. Andre the Giant versus yes. Jake the Snake Roberts with Big John Studd as the referee. Oh, poor Andre. Poor Andre. <laughs> Gorilla yeah. says, it's cardiac arrest time when Damien the Snake is around. Looking at Andre, <laughs> any time can be cardiac arrest time. Well, Big John Studd, I found out through, again, extensive Googling, mm. later this year, will find a lump, a lump that will eventually kill him. Really? And it was apparently reportedly down to his human growth hormone use. Yes. It will grow things. It will grow it things. It will grow things. He, he was, uh, uh, again, one of those guys who, he was such a big star for so long, mm. he was a good big man. He was yeah. a really sort well, of well, like, I enjoyed him. Last time, last time we saw him in, in WrestleMania. There's something about him, I like the fact he's not very showbiz. No. He just looks a bit like he's a genuine tough guy who's been brought along and he's always mm. sort of a bit unsure about all the razzle-dazzle. <laughs> I like looks, that. He looks like a henchman in a film, in like yeah. an action film, some yeah. sort of thing. Or, or bring or, the big guy out. Yeah, or like in like, Long Good Friday, Bob Hoskins would have, <laughs> you know, John Studd behind him. Yeah, exactly. He, be, uh, yeah, smoking, Rothmans. Studd is not across things. Cause no. Because somebody removes the turnbuckle pad, Mark. They do right at the they, start. They need, to, they need to sort that out. <laughs> they do. It's Basically, it, it's a referee's job. Uh, and John, <laughs> you, I know you tried, but we're very disappointed in you. <laughs> We'll not be paying you. <laughs> as a referee, mm. you check. As, as a football referee, you check the goal nets. Yeah, you go over to each goal nets. You, you wave at the keeper. Say, "Is the keeper on my left? Okay, is the keeper on?" The... Well, then we can begin. Has anyone ever removed a goal before the match started? <laughs> exactly. And then they've sort of like scored, but you've gone to the goal's gone. Don't ask Jesse how many turn boxes there's supposed to be because he doesn't know. <laughs> well, at least nine. <laughs> at least nine have to be there. Not between nine and sixteen. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, this this <laughs> match, uh, I feel for Andre here because the room is dead. Yeah, um, they, that's... Absolutely dead. so weird, isn't it? Can't get any, any atmosphere and just it's strange. just... But that said, you can kind of hear, with the microphones, you can hear his shouts, mm. which makes him a bit more frightening. And, oh, he really goes... Rah, like Does that. he? Now look at shouting insults into the ear yep. of the fallen Jake the Snake. Oh, look at that. Wow, nothing illegal about yelling as long as you don't touch him. He's fine. And I like his chops as well. I like his big old um, ah, chops. I just like him. There's a bit <laughs> where the Million Dollar Man steals the snake and then Jake goes and gets it and he just throws it in the ring. Mm. And Andre gets out of that ring 
as slowly as is humanly possible yeah. <laughs> while still looking like you're trying to move somewhere. Well, he his face does a lot of walking. Yes. His face does a lot of walking before his body actually yes. allows him to... Doesn't kind it? Kind of, yeah. It's, it's like watching a granny run for a bus. They have, they've not done it in years. <laughs> they've not done it in ages, but they're going to have a go. Yeah, it's... So what it, is uh, this? I'm going faster than usual. <laughs> <laughs> Although, I'm weird, I'm still moving going, at the same speed yeah, as backwards. ever. Yeah. yeah, that was... Um, and it, it's just a bit sad to watch. Mm. You're also looking at huge stars there. It's a shame that they didn't, you know, ah, what can you do? Well... You're working with Andre, you, you got to work with what he gives you, really. And then they did, did a little crowd interview. I was like, who's the best? And the bloke was going, Jake's the best, Jake's the best. And this guy's about, well, I'd say about at least 25. Yeah. Probably cracking for 30, he's got a little tash. And I sort of think, he's got to be a, of an age now, hasn't he? Yeah. And he must look back at that and go, that was my one TV, that was my 15 minutes. He's sitting Me there going, and Jake's the best, Jake's <laughs> the best, Jake's the best. And then he's retirement home. <laughs> Jake's the best, Jake, <laughs> Jake's the best, Jake. <laughs> Man. He wasn't, he wasn't the they, best. They really sort of go, let's, let's take a view at the cheap seats and they go to the back of the thing mm. and the commentators are going, whoa, you're not going to see anything from there. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, guys. That's one of the smaller rooms they've wrestled in as well. <laughs> yeah, it is. is. weird. I, I, I saw it at Wembley Stadium. I can tell you, that looked like it was fucking <laughs> next, ne like in the in the robe in front of you. I mean, Jesus. <laughs> I can't even find the words, Pete, <laughs> because I feel like I've been ripped off in 1992. <laughs> Jake, you're the best, the Jake. Up. He's the best. Jake's the best. Jake's the best. Yeah, I guess he's going to say it all. As you can see, not a bad seat in the house. Back to you, gorilla. <laughs> you got to have some binoculars from up there. <laughs> <laughs>